Hello and welcome back. I'm Dalton Cowan and this is a mushroom culture syringe. Liquid culture. Usually this will be full. I actually just found this in the fridge and uh, it just so happens to be gold oyster, which I needed. I was out of. <laughs> so everything worked out. But anyway, this is a liquid culture syringe and just a crash course for those of you that you know, don't know anything about mushroom cultivation. You can use this to inoculate your bulk substrate or what you're actually going to do your fruiting from. But typically, you're going to take a culture, whether it be a liquid culture or an agriculture on a petri dish, and you're going to add that to sterilize the grain. That becomes your spawn run. You can do this in jars, you can do this in bags, you can do this in a variety of different ways. And then uh, once that's fully colonized, then you can break that up, uh, add it to your bulk substrate. Once that's fully colonized, then you can go ahead and fruit your mushrooms. So I'm often asked, especially at the farmer's market, where I get my spores from. Uh, truthfully, we don't start from spore, and uh, I've never started from spore. What we do is we order a culture, and what a culture is, is it's a live mycelium. It's basically just live mycelium in a syringe or on a petri dish. But what happens in nature is when a bunch of spores land on something, and conditions are right, temperatures are right, then when these things start to germinate, much like seeds, they throw out these little tendrils. And what they're searching for is to see if they can link up with another spore that is compatible. And so if they can do that, then they can go ahead and proliferate and start that mycelial network. Uh, but they have to, there have to be two spores that are compatible that germinate next to one another um, and then mate, essentially. So if you start from spore, first of all, uh, spores are not sterile. Uh, they're not clean. Uh, and there's no way to clean them without also killing the spores. So typically you've got to do some cleaning up of that culture if you're going to start from spore anyway. Also, you're going to have more than just two spores that are compatible, and so you're going to have all of these competing colonies inside of the substrate. One of these is going to become more dominant than the rest of them. It's going to take up most of the substrate, and it might fruit, and then again it might not, and you're certainly not going to get the yields that you would if you started from a uh, culture that's all, you know, kind of, it's all one strain, uh, and it's not going to be competing. But all that just to say that this one 10 milliliter or 10 cc syringe, you know the difference between a milliliter and a cc is? There isn't one. Uh, it's the same unit of measurement. But uh, this one syringe can become several hundred pounds of fresh mushrooms, and I'll show you how that works. So. With your spawn run, I left out a pretty key piece of information, and that is that you can expand your spawn into several generations. So you're, when you first inoculate your spawn with your liquid culture, that becomes a first generation, and then you can expand that out generally to larger bags. <clears throat> that way you can expand your culture into a second generation. Most cultivators stop right there. They don't go any further than, than a G2. Because if you go further than a G2, every time you open that up and you inoculate more things with it, there's always the chance that something else is going to ride in with it. And so the more times that happens, you know, the less certain that you are that your culture is going to be completely clean. So that's typically what happens with your spawn. So what we do here, at least at my farm, is we start with our culture syringe. And it's a 10 milliliter syringe. I like to use two milliliters per quart jar for my first generation or master spawn. So I can get 10 of these. So just to visualize, we started with our syringe. Uh, I'm sorry, five. Five jars, not 10. One, two, three, four, five. So that becomes five jars. This first generation spawn uh, can then be broken up and added to, I typically add these, uh, so these are quart mason jars, and then we usually do four pound bags with filter patches. Uh, <clears throat> one jar, I like, and by the way, for all of these uh, ratios and everything, uh, this is just what I like to do. You can do more, you can do less, with varying degrees of success, totally up to you. This is just kind of the way I've always done it. If it isn't broke, don't fix it sort of thing. So with one quart jar, I can get four 
four pound bags. And I can expand that out further if I wanted to as well. But once again, we become less certain that our culture is going to be, remain clean. So each jar can do four of the four pound bags. Each one of those four pound bags, when we go to inoculate our bulk substrate, can inoculate 10 10 pound blocks. They can inoculate about 20 five pound blocks. But I'm doing everything in front of a flow hood. If you're using a still air box or doing this in open air, you're going to want to use a lot more spawn. That way your project can colonize a lot faster. But each one of these four pound grain spawn bags can inoculate about 100 pounds of substrate. Uh, at least the way that we do things here. So uh, if we actually visualize this with five pound blocks, we've gotten away from doing 10 pound blocks. We're now doing five, uh, five pound blocks again. Our five pound blocks are actually seven, but you know, who's counting? So uh, 10 of these. And so this already, we went from <clears throat> two milliliters to uh, about 100 pounds of substrate inoculated throughout this process. And this is just one leg of it. So with these five, that would actually become 20 four pound bags. And then those 24 pound bags would each become, now that we're doing five pound blocks, that would be 400. 400 five pound mushroom fruiting blocks from a single culture of syringe. So that's how this one syringe can literally inoculate a ton of substrate. I'm going to tell that to the next person I sell a culture to. Alright, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this sort of content, or don't, it's whatever.